Welcome to the Sprinkles of Spirit podcast. I'm Lisa, and I am your host. With a lifelong passion for self-discovery, personal growth, and spirituality, I have realized the ability to transform our lives is a timeless gift that lies within each of us waiting to be awakened. Join me in this space every Thursday as I share with you all of the powerful practices and tools that have helped me elevate my mind, body, and spirit, as I know they will do the same for you. Together, we'll unleash your potential through self-love, self-acceptance, and faith, empowering you to live an inspired life that radiates with authenticity, purpose, and unwavering joy. I am so grateful you are here. Remember, you are exactly where you are supposed to be, and you are loved beyond measure. Happy Thursday and welcome to our final summer series, our manifestation series. Thank you for those of you who've been tuning in and I have a fun episode today because I'm going to tell you, recommend my favorite, favorite books uh, that I've read on manifestation. So, but first, for those of you who are new, I always like to take one cycle of breath together to kind of get us fully in the present moment, fully here, let go of your week, let go of your day, and yeah, just be here now. I have my singing bowl here. So wherever you are, go ahead and close your eyes. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out of the mouth. And just relax your jaw for a minute. Relax the face. The next inhale comes in through your nose. And just allow yourself to be open without any expectations. Just open to receive something you're meant to hear today. And then slowly open our eyes. Okay. Okay, thank you. The breath, powerful. Okay, so first I thought I would, let me move this over here, my tea, I don't want it to spill. Let's do a little recap, right, of our summer series. So we started out with shadow work. So for, the, for those of you who are maybe just tuning into the recap, you haven't had a chance to listen to the prior manifestation episodes, but I encourage you to do so. Um, here's a little recap. I started out with shadow work and explaining that if we are dwelling in a low vibration, meaning you're dwelling in a feeling of fear, anxiety, uh, even depression or anger or judgment, all of these lower vibrations uh, really are going to block the fruition of your manifestation. You're not really able to create and manifest when we're kind of dwelling and sitting in a low vibration. It just doesn't work. You know, everything is frequency, everything is energy. And if you think just in simple terms of like attracts like, you know, we can't be dwelling in the lower to get to the higher. So the first step is to kind of dive into that you know, do some self-development work, work with a coach, you know, um, I encourage therapy, you know, really something to dive into your shadow. And we learned that those are the, it's, it's the deep hidden, you know, aspects of ourselves that are difficult to look at. And we certainly don't want to, to share. However, we must do the work to confront them so we can begin to heal and understand where it is these underlying negative, you know, feelings and emotions kind of come from. So then we can, can really look, take a look at it, acknowledge it, and we can begin to heal and release and then get into our higher frequency 
uh, and begin to manifest. So, okay. And the next episode, I gave you the very first step. Um, you know, we defined what it means to manifest. And, you know, I know a lot of you who are on this journey with me, or, you know, you're into spirituality, or maybe you're, you're, you're a yoga teacher who's diving into your own personal growth journey. Manifestation is such a hot topic. I mean, it's, it's, it's everywhere. I mean, and I really dove deep in the last few years, but looking at these books that I'm going to <laughs> suggest just a few of my favorite, I'm such a book junkie. It's crazy. Looking back on some of these books, uh, even before 2012, I've been reading on it. So it's been like a really long process to fully understand and fully grasp manifestation, what it is, how to do it, um, and see it really working in your life. Um, it's a process, you know, and it's a hot topic. And I dove into, you know, really clarifying for you what it means to manifest, right? It means to experience, you know, having something a vision in your mind, and we want to experience it through our senses. We want to touch it. We want to see it. Um, we want to experience it. So it's it's really having a dream and seeing it as your new reality, experiencing a new reality, right? And then we moved on. You know, I talked about um, the manifest challenge I did with Gabby Bernstein, how to pay attention to what she calls driftwood, which I do believe in signs from the universe. And I think I'll do a whole separate episode on signs because that's a fun topic. Um, you can ask for signs from the universe and the universe delivers. So that's really, really cool. Something to work about and journal on the signs that the universe is giving you along the way while you're manifesting pay attention to the signs. It's, they're everywhere. We just have to notice them and pay attention. And when we become conscious, you know, people who move through life as conscious human beings, we start to notice all the signs. So that's a lot of fun. And then I moved into, uh, really what I call like, you know, the heart of, of manifesting and that's the mind body connection. And I really dove deep into that with, uh, Dr. Joe Dispenza and, uh, check him out. He's all over, uh, YouTube podcasts, books, um, go to his website. He does workshops. He does whole weekend workshops, week long workshops about manifestation, but really diving into the power of our mind and body connection and really utilizing the tool of meditation, which is free. And we all have the power to make that a part of our lives. And meditation is, I'm going to tell you, probably the most important part of the manifestation process. We have to drop in. You have to tune out the outer world and begin to connect into your inner wizard, you know, your, your inner, your higher holy self, and really begin to tap into the feeling and the emotion of what your new reality is going to give you. Right. So let's say, you know, I spoke about someone who wants to manifest, uh, you know, maybe a sum of money. Well, why do you want to manifest that? A lot of people would say freedom. So kind of marinate, you know, drop into meditation, marinate in that feeling of freedom, the freedom that you will experience when you achieve this abundance, right? The freedom to maybe uh, quit your daytime job and finally do your passion for a living, the freedom to go on that vacation, the freedom to buy the new home, right? The freedom to get out of debt. It's really about tuning into that feeling of freedom, that your new reality is going to give you. So meditation is key. And remember, I spoke about this, the mind, our mind doesn't know when we're dwelling on an event, let's say you're someone stuck in the past, right? Maybe, um, you know, let's say somebody, uh, really hurt you or you went through a betrayal or 
either personal or at work, you know, um, and every time you think of that, you just get, you're, you're worked up with anger, with sadness, with madness, you know, and it's like, it's happening again. That's because the mind doesn't know that it's not happening. So wherever we're dwelling in our mind, the body is there. The body thinks it's happening now. So you'll learn more if you dive into uh, more work with Dr. Joe Dispenza, that, th- that connection, you know, he, he even explains how the neurons in the brain, um, you know, the, in- it's the environment that affects our cells. Again, uh, Bruce Lip- Lipton is another one, um, but the book, the biology of belief explains it's the environment, uh, that affects the cell and, really the mind body connection is key. So where we are dwelling is what we're going to experience. And I really think that's like the golden key is to act as if. So make sure you guys begin your meditation practice. If you haven't yet this year, it's super powerful if you're trying to manifest. Um, and then today, before I get to, I'm going to share with you, uh, quickly, my favorite books, you know, I'm a book junkie. I love, love, love books, love reading. And I really think you'll get a lot out of uh, this list of books to add to your library to really master the art of manifesting. So stay tuned. But first, the one last thing I want to tell you guys about manifestation is, and this is really important, and I I did a prior podcast on it. And that's the power of surrender. So there are times where you're in the feeling, you're doing the meditations, you're making the effort, you're taking divinely guided action steps, and maybe the thing is not happening. You know, you're not meeting the right person, you're not getting the right job, you're not uh, finding the right house, you're not healing that ailment that you've been suffering from, you know, you're not getting out of debt. You're not repairing that relationship, right? We have to surrender, you know, we have to surrender, surrender and trust that it's divine timing. And this is where I'm going to mention, um, a course in miracles. And it really teaches the power of patience And A Course in Miracles says, uh, those who are certain of the outcome can wait and wait without anxiety. So I live by that because you have to remember there is a higher power that sees a bigger picture in your life of things happening in by divine design in a certain order. And we can't possibly see everything that God sees. And you have to have that moment of surrender and trust, you know, and let your simple prayer be, you know, I'm asking for this or something better, you know, and, and give it up. You know, we have to stay out of that zone of manic manifesting because that will never, never, ever work. Right. So make sure you tap into that sense of surrender and patience right? Is key. Okay. Let's get into the books. Okay. Love, love, love books. Okay. This author, mm, Wayne Dyer, Dr. Wayne Dyer, and this is Wishes Fulfilled, Mastering the Art of Manifesting. And I'm, I'm not going to go into complete detail here on every book, you guys, in an, in an effort to keep this episode um, timely, but Dr. Wayne Dyer, um, is a spiritual teacher, author, who I have followed for many, many years. And this book really teaches about what's called your I am presence within, tapping into that I am presence. So pay attention to the words I am and what comes after it, because that's what you're creating. So Dr. Wayne Dyer, Wishes Fulfilled, and it looks like I read this one back in 2012. So love that. Okay. I love reading, you know, old time, new thought, 
you know, some of the first new thought leaders, spiritual teachers, right? And this is a compilation of an author, Florence Scoville Shin, and it's called The Complete Works of Florence Shin. And she was an American artist and a book illustrator who actually became a spiritual teacher and a metaphysical writer in her middle years. This is awesome. It's because it's kind of a combination of all of her work. And so you're going to get a lot out of this. She wrote the book, The Game of Life and How to Play It. Your Word is Your Wand. Oh, I love that title. Love it. The Secret Door to Success, The Power of the Spoken Word. So this is awesome. And it has, I highlighted one of my favorite affirmations, you guys, is from this book. Um, and you can write this down in your journal and use it. So a really good affirmation. My supply is endless, inexhaustible, and immediate and comes to me under grace in perfect ways. Boom. Love that. Okay, my girl, Gabby Bernstein. Hello. I'm sure you guys know Gabby Bernstein, spirit junkie girl, uh, super attractor, okay? Methods for manifesting a life beyond your wildest dreams. And I really think this book is really particularly great for people who are new, to learning about manifestation and spirituality because she, for the first time, really dove into, um, you know, what maybe some people kind of consider a little woo-woo, calling on your angels and spirit guides, um, which are all certainly there for you and really, really powerful. So this was an awesome, easy to read book. Highly recommend her too. She's all over. Okay. Uh, let me just tell you really quick, two more old time runs, old timers. Um, Feeling is the secret by Neville Goddard. And he, this was published in 1944. I love it because these writings are still so relevant and so powerful and so simple and true. And uh, he was a new thought um, author uh, and mystic. He lectured and wrote on the Bible, and he was really known to be one of the pioneers of the law of assumption. And one of my favorite quotes from him is, it is not what you want that you attract, you attract what you believe to be true. Awesome. Love this. Okay, next, Your Invisible Power by Genevieve Berend. Another easy to read book, um, published in 1921. And she was a French author and a teacher of mental thought. And, uh, she helped bring visualization, um, talked about visual visualization as a powerful tool uh, for manifestation. And on the back here, quick, it says, never forget that every physical thing, whether for you or against you, was a sustained thought before it was a thing. Awesome. Loved it. Another easy read. Okay. Finally, this is, this is going down as my favorite book on, on, uh, manifestation. Look at all my stickies, you guys think and grow rich by Napoleon Hill. So yeah, he studied um, many, many entrepreneurs and came up with these steps. Um, so here it says, every chapter of this book mentions the money-making secret that has made fortunes for more than 500 exceedingly wealthy people whom I have carefully analyzed over a long period of years. So the book contains the secret which has been put to a practical test by thousands of people from almost every walk of life. This book is awesome. And it's not just about, you know, think and grow rich, not just about money. It's about anything. And I wrote here, actually I highlighted here and I have to read it because it's so awesome. This, the focus on this one chapter, how to outwit the six ghosts of fear so he really talks about in this book, clearing out the unholy trio. 
that is indecision, doubt, and fear. So when you think about manifesting, you guys, indecision is the seed that crystallizes into doubt, which equals fear, which is going to create fear. So, and that takes it back to the beginning of getting crystal clear on what it is you would like to create in your life, you know, and fear will always hold us back. And so I'm going to end by reading what I wrote. <laughs> Look at this, you guys. Oh my God. I wrote, it's the best description of fear I have ever read. <laughs> so fear paralyzes the faculty of reason, destroys the faculty of imagination, kills off self-reliance, undermines enthusiasm, discourages initiative, leads to uncertainty of purpose, encourages procrastination, wipes out enthusiasm, and makes self-control an impossibility. It takes the charm from one's personality, destroys the possibility of accurate thinking, diverts concentration of effort. It masters persistence, turns the willpower into nothingness, destroys ambition, beclouds the memory, and invites failure in every conceivable form. It kills love and assassinates the finer emotions of the heart, discourages friendship, and invites disaster in a hundred forms, leads to sleeplessness, misery, and unhappiness. And all of this, despite the obvious truth that we live in a society of overabundance of everything the heart could desire with nothing standing between us and our desires, except lack of a definite purpose. Yeah. I think that's where I'm going to leave today's episode. So thank you so much for tuning in to this manifestation series. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, you know, rewind, listen to this episode again, watch it on YouTube, write the list of everything I spoke about and let me know how it works for you because manifestation should be fun, but really I'm going to leave it with let's get clear your sprinkle of spirit card this week is getting clear on your purpose. That's, that's your, your angel message I'm going to leave with, um, on this episode. So make sure you are clear on what it is you want to create, take these steps and yeah, manifest some miracles in your life. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Have a beautiful week. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. Take a yoga class with me. Check out lisayogaangel.com. And please leave a review if you are enjoying this journey with me. Have a beautiful week. Namaste. Namaste.